Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well, guys. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in. For all you guys uh, who do uh, like our content and our avid viewers, thank you very much once again. Your viewership is uh, very much appreciated. If you could be just so kind and click a like on the video, and that's all pretty much we ask. So hopefully everybody's doing well. Again, thoughts and prayers for all you guys who are in uh, the central Florida area. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, the storm passes and it's not as uh, it's not as serious as they predict. Hopefully, right? You can only do is hope. And hopefully, everybody is uh, in one piece. Again, possessions come and goes, uh, but life is very, very precious. So please uh, stay safe. So let's talk about the take today. Uh, the final numbers, pretty aggressive. You have the Dow Jones Industrial Average up 400 points, uh, NASDAQ up 108 points, uh, S&P up 41 points. I had a very sloppy day, okay? I had a very, very sloppy day. There were some good things. Uh, there were some weird things. Uh, I couldn't figure out some things. Um, and that's all it is, right? Sometimes you can have a very sloppy day. Um, and the least amount of stocks that you think you would never be able to take advantage of, you take advantage of in your cushion and your wonderful, you know, Tesla and everything kind of uh, makes you uh, suffer a little bit. But again, this is why uh, we play the game. Um, so here's kind of what happened today. So you have the cues advancing. Okay, we talked about last night on the video. Uh, the semiconductor group is incredibly strong, right? Obviously, this whole last move up uh, was fueled on Nvidia. Again, who can possibly say a bad thing about Nvidia? Uh, the stock has gone from literally reclaiming back the 120 level off the five-day moving average, and the stock in one, two, three, four, five days has gone from 120 all the way to 134.50. So that's a phenomenal move, absolutely phenomenal move. Uh, perfect world that kind of relaxes for a couple of days, digests its gains, uh, and then you know maybe starts another run. But again, a back test wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But I again, I have no interest really in shorting Nvidia. Just because, again, this thing is an absolute monster in a bullish tape with a severe aggression. Why short a stock like that, right? There's plenty of weak names uh, that are out there. But again, good organic rest. And what we talked about in the last few days is the rotation, right? The rotation into other names. Remember we talked about ARM, right? We talked about ARM last night. We talked about Avago last night, right? We talked about all these names. So you had massive rotation into the semiconductor space. And now our job, and again, we'll get to the pivots in a second. I'll kind of show you the, the good, bad, and the what the hell. Um, but our job right now is to find stocks off the bottom of the range, right? Yesterday, you guys remember we talked about snow? Ironically, this is what saved my day. Of all things, it's going to save my day. This will save my day. But this is kind of my point. We're watching for stocks coming off the bottom with option flow, with deep out of the money, short-term expiration, and that's where the money is. I'll give you some uh, some names to watch for tomorrow. But uh, again, just kind of individual names. Let's kind of go through them. Tesla was very weird, okay? Tesla, not only did it take, take out yesterday's lows, it took out yesterday's highs. I lost on both, right? Think about that, right? I lost on both. <laughs> it took out yesterday's channel, it failed. It sh I, I went short below yesterday's lows. I lost. I got squeezed back. So it's a sloppy mess, right? It's an absolute sloppy mess. Um, obviously, everybody's positioning for tomorrow's uh, robo taxi event. I believe it starts seven o'clock, either Pacific time or Eastern time. Whatever it is, it's starting after the close. So you're not going to get the true nature of the move till Friday, right? Till Friday, uh, till Friday's session. But I'm going to personally stay away from Tesla uh, tomorrow just because what I saw today was super sloppy. Uh, when it could take out the, the high, the, the previous high and the previous low and you lose on both sides, 
that's not really a good formula for the next day. So I'm personally going to leave uh, Tesla alone for tomorrow until we get that true reaction uh, come Friday morning. We'll see about that. Some names that definitely woke up this morning as far as the Magnificent Seven, right? You got Amazon that had a really, really ugly move from its highs, lost the five, lost the 10, lost the 20, almost hit the 50-day moving average, but had a nice move in the last couple of days and today tested the 10-day, right? Let's keep an eye on Amazon for tomorrow. If it starts reclaiming back the 10-day moving average, we could see a move back into this 187 level. Uh, we did see this morning some 185, some nine, 190 uh, short-term expiration. So again, I, I'm definitely, definitely watching Amazon if they can start reclaiming back uh, the 10-day moving average tomorrow. Apple, right? Apple woke up today, right? Apple woke up today. Again, another example of reclaiming back the 10-day moving average. Apple woke up. Uh, took out one, two, three, four, five days worth of selling. That's a good thing. All now it needs to do is confirm the October one channel. If it could confirm the October one channel, maybe this thing has a day two. Again, we definitely definitely saw some 230s, some 230, 250 uh, weeklies coming in. I, th I think I even saw some 235s for next week, but it's going to be very, very important for Apple to get above this uh, daily channel, especially confirming uh, the 10 one highs. Very, very uh, important uh, in that name. Uh, look at a name like Robinhood, right? So yesterday had a big, big breakout, really, really big breakout on massive volume. Uh, yesterday it traded 39 million shares. Today it traded 22 million. So let's just call it half the volume, right? It rested on half the volume on an inside day that's super bullish. I don't know what was going on, but if you, if you check the option activity, it, it was very weird bets. They were betting the January 2026, uh, 2026, 25 and 25 and a half calls. The reason that's weird, they're betting in the money, right? They're betting in the money calls, but they're betting them two, two years out. It's very, very odd, but they are betting them with like almost seven figure bets, mid, mid high six figure bets. So it's something we definitely want to watch for tomorrow. Again, on the standalone value, it did take out this whole channel for the July highs yesterday and put in an inside day today. Let's definitely keep an eye on Hood uh, for tomorrow, right? Definitely keep an eye on Hood for tomorrow. Uh, another name I want to, uh, another name we should definitely, definitely keep an eye on just because, again, we'll get to the pivots in a second. Um, some names coming off the bottom, right? Look at Lamb Research. So I never used to trade Lamb Research because Lamb Research at one point was just untradeable, right? It was like Chipotle. It was like booking.com, right? Or it was like SMCI that had a big spread that, you know, all this crap. But, you know, now they did the split, right? Now they did the split. And again, it's not imminent yet, okay? It, this is not a setup that's imminent yet. But let's watch this thing just in case it takes out the highs from, from last week, right? I'm very interested because if they could get above this whole sneaky channel here, and again, I'm definitely watching for option flow. I don't think this trade is, is going to be, I don't think this setup is for tomorrow. Uh, but the more I'm watching it, if, you know, it's obviously in the right space, the semi group, if they could get back above, uh, last week's supply, maybe this thing finally wakes up. But again, it's very, very interesting to watch to see if the option flow, uh, comes in. Look at a name like SoFi, right? SoFi is a smaller cap name, right? A smaller cap name. Uh, we saw a lot of calls coming in today. We saw the 8s, the 850s, the 9s. We saw some uh, November uh, 11, excuse me, $10 calls come in. This is now the highest close in this whole formation. You see this, guys? Look at the weekly chart on SoFi, okay? Look at the weekly chart on SoFi. This is now the highest close in this whole formation going back uh, going back several months. So this is very, very important. If SoFi can start building above today's channels, guys, this thing has room to the first weekly supply between 9.10 and 9.30s. Considering that's where they're betting the stock, this thing could wake up really well. Again, you have the options market trying to bet in that direction. So let's see uh, if the stock actually uh, gets there, right? Uh, a name like NTNX, I believe this is another semiconductor name. I could be wrong. But I believe this is another semiconductor name. They had a big move, uh, a big new move in August. This thing is very, very close of uh, taking above uh, those August highs, uh, a name we definitely want to keep an eye on. Again, I, I want to watch all these names for option flow. If there's no option flow, the name, 
I have no interest. So kind of segue, right? Kind of segue into today's day. Again, there were some good things. There were some bad things, right? Bad things, good things. Um, and some things that I just, again, I just can't explain how I could lose on both sides of Tesla taking out the previous day's highs and lows. Whatever. Okay, things happen. So here was Avago. You remember Avago? Avago broke out yesterday. Again, here's where we're talking about the options market. Avago broke out yesterday uh, above 180 and a quarter. Today, 181.60 needs to confirm the daily, daily Bollinger Band. We talked about this last night. They were coming, if you guys remember yesterday, they were coming for the 185 weeklies, okay? 185 weeklies, and they were coming for the November 200 calls. And this stock is absolutely went nuts. 181.60 got above and never looked back. Avago just went crazy. Congratulations for all you guys who caught it. So it took out the 181.60, got above the Bollinger Band, got above the June highs. That was the key. Got above the June highs of 185.16, traded all the way up to uh, 186.50. This is now the highest close in the whole formation since June, just like uh, uh, SoFi. So, you know, if the semiconductors want to run, this thing has more upside. Beautiful looking move. Congratulations for all you guys who caught it. Arm. Remember we talked about Arm yesterday, right? Arm, 145 rejected three times. So it put in an opening range high of 146.20s, came back in, and once it got above the 146.20s, look at the move on Arm. Guys, again, that's the whole point of daily channels, right? You got some daily channels coming in. It got above the 45, confirmed the 46.20s, and closed at the highs of the day at 40, uh, 148.64 uh, into this Bollinger Band. The big number here is going to be this 152.40 down the line. But beautiful move. Beautiful move there as well. Uh, UPST, I really wasn't watching UPST. 43.20 needs to build. I have no idea what UPST did. Uh, 43.20 did nothing. 43.20 traded the 43.60s. But again, uh, inside day still looks pretty good. Again, I wasn't even watching it. Uh, Oracle went nuts. You guys remember we talking about Oracle last night's video? Uh, 174.65 uh, needs to build. That was the uh, earnings highs, right? That was the earnings highs. It got above the 174, uh, 174.60s uh, area and just went out of its mind, uh, traded all the way up to 78.60. Beautiful move on Oracle. Uh, Hood, we're still watching. Chipotle, we're still watching. And here's why they got a little stupid, right? Straight up stupid. So I short Tesla, I short Tesla, it goes down 50 cents, that's it. <laughs> goes down 50 cents, that's it, squeezes me back, lose a dollar, right? All right, cool. Then later, later, I got long on the previous day's high, second entry, it goes up 50 cents, guess what, I lose money again. So I'm down on the day, everything sucks, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I shorted some meta to make, get some money back. Where was the meta pivot? Meta pivot must be up here, uh, but here's kind of what's oh here's the meta pivot. So I shorted I, I shorted Meta. It went down like a dollar and change. So yeah, I recovered some losses. Blah blah blah. If you told me today snow was going to save my day, I would have never believed you. I would have never in, in a million years believed you. So snow we were watching. They were coming for the 120, 121 weeklies, and then they started coming for the the either end of October or early. November 125 calls. And that's what really sparked up the stock. If you guys remember last night's video, again, we were talking about the you know, best setups are always going to be off the bottom, reclaiming a major moving average. Today, it got above the uh, 1662 area, reclaimed back the 50-day moving average, which is which is great. Uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, I'm still holding a little bit of a runner. Uh, tomorrow, uh, if we can get 12060s would be great, but they are starting to come in uh, for the 125, you know, 125 for November's, if you're looking for a, a little bit of a longer range. But if you can give me 120.60s on this thing, would be great. Again, I'm up $3 on snow. And on my wildest dreams, I would never think snow would be uh, the white knight that would save my day. Again, Meta, I shorted Meta. Well, only went down like a dollar and change. Whatever, made some money back there. So I got hosed on, uh, I got hosed on Tesla to the downside, got hosed on Tesla to the upside, which basically tells me leave Tesla alone tomorrow. Uh, until the you know until the day until the day is done and the robo taxi event is over and then it'll give us a clear uh, channel whether it's to me to the upside uh, or to the downside but snow definitely saved the day Avago was a monster uh, arm was really good congratulations to you guys who caught Oracle uh, again guys watch this sofa okay watch this sofa again the more option flow comes in the better 
Uh, keep an eye on this thing through today's channel. But the, the key common denominator every single day, what we want to see, whether you're trading a $2 stock or a $2,000 stock, is the daily channel confirming with a lot of uh, a lot of option flow in that direction, out of the money, with short-term expiration. Tomorrow should be an interesting day. God bless. Have a great night, everybody. For all you guys in Central Florida, please stay safe. Our prayers are with you, and with God's help, we'll see you all in peace tomorrow. Take care, everybody.